Christmas yet. Oh, are you the cute one? Yeah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and to my travel vlog. We are still currently in Ecuador, but we have left Quito and we have come down to a place near Copa Taxi. So I hope I'm saying that right. Copa Taxi, I don't know if you can see there now, the clouds might have come over, but it is a volcano. You can just see here, that is the top with the snow on. So we've come to a real local Ecuadorian. It's like a campsite. And then William, our guy here, has some old school Ecuadorian houses. So this one, so this one is like um, an Andy's house. This one has got the bar in it and where William and his family are. And then this is where we're staying for the night, which used to be William's grandma's house. So she lived in this her whole entire life. It's like wood and grass and thatching. So cool. Our little bed for the night. I think we're gonna need that extra blanket. It's a little chilly. But yeah, it's just all thatched and grass and wooden. <laughs> We're going a proper traditional old school for the evening. I'm well happy, are you happy? No. No? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> That's cool. So um, it's amazing, there is like um, lights, uh, the toilet and the bathroom are outside but there is hot water, running water, so happy. We've got Wi-Fi, we've got plugs. So although we're uh, going back to old school, we've still got pretty much all our home comforts. Mods, but, mods and cons. Mods and cons, yeah. So I think we're going to eat with the family in about an hour. I think fish is on the menu. I was really worried because I'd read in somebody else's review that um, they'd come here and they got guinea pig for tea. Because guinea pigs like an Ecuadorian local cuisine. cuisine. So yeah. I'd eat that. Yeah, you'd eat it, but I'm not. So we're getting a fish. We're happy in our little hut. Guys, it's so awesome here. We've just had a lovely dinner prepared by the family over there. Brilliant. Lovely fish fries for the family. And now I've been asked about some hot tea and they've gone to the garden and picked the leaves. It smells lovely. I'm going to get some hot tea. It's lovely here. It's a video. I haven't got my vlog camera. Got our green teas. Yeah. So Hello, William! Picture. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be a picture. <laughs> 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 you can hear insects and the cows in the field and all the wild dogs. <laughs> and they're under five blankets. <laughs> so Aaron drank loads of water at dinner like an idiot. That's good to the outside toilet. I can hear all sorts. Ooh. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear all them doggies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Is> it scary? <laughs> no. It was just our luck. We were in a traditional Andean thatched roofed hut and it rained all the second day we were there. Luckily, the Wi Fi was good enough that we could watch Netflix. I want to go to the gym. It's been a little while. Down the road, for a little chicken meal. Is this the right road? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't look like our road, Aaron. Put <laughs> it into Google. Found the guinea pigs that he serves for dinner. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, some rabbits. Aaron's called the Man United match on anywhere, everywhere in the world. Chicken! I know oh. they showed you guys this Be there. careful. After the main house here. What? There's a climbing one. Because I'm a 
is our guy, Willie, the guide. He is a mountaineer. Goes up all these mountains. Good morning. It's a much sunnier day here in Cotopaxi. Today we're going to go check out the volcano. I don't know if you can see on the camera there, but you can just make it out through the clouds. I feel I need to explain this more because we missed out on such a great opportunity. But we got in the taxi to go to the volcano. Obviously, we didn't want to hike the 6,000 meters up it, but we did want to stand at the bottom and take some photos. But when we were in the taxi and we were trying to explain this to the man with our limited, limited Spanish, it was almost impossible. And it was at that moment I realised I had to start learning Spanish. So unfortunately, we missed out on this. And it's probably the only thing I regret throughout this trip. We've since learned about all these amazing hostels that are there and I'm really gutted we didn't go. We are now moving on to La Tacunga, the funky bus. And then we are off to Quilotoa. Quilotoa? Quilotoa. I can't pronounce anything. Are we saying Cotopaxi? No, Copataxi. But it's the other way around. <laughs> Copataxi. Cotopaxi. Now we're going to Quilotoa. So this is the view from the top of our hostel in Latacunga. There is Cotopaxi where we were supposed to visit this morning. There's another volcano over here. I'm not sure what it's called. We are just surrounded by mountains here. Mountains and volcanoes. Quite beautiful. Whoa, that is, how much does this zoom? So we spent the last couple of the days in the hostel. The hostel actually has a little nightclub thing underneath it. So we had a few drinks, we had a good time there. And now we are on a coach on our way to Kitoa, which is another volcano. And in the middle of the volcano, there's a lake inside it. So we'll show you that when we get there, if we get there. We have been on this coach now going about 100 mile an hour slaloms up and down the mountains. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty scary. What do you reckon, Aaron? <laughs> because you can see how fast we're going. Then this is the crazy slalom, another bend. Oh, oh. Slow down for this one. Thank God. <laughs> oh no, he's not. Oh. <laughs> Lauren doesn't like it. <laughs> Genuine guinea pig. Might have to give it a go. been dropped off in the I think it's like a little town Kyoto and we just stopped at the place that had the guinea pig and Aaron may have or may have not just eaten guinea pig what do you reckon no it was like a massive nice. like trotto or something <laughs> <laughs> I just stick with chicken because it's safe we made it to the Kyoto volcano oh here's a llama hello Crazy to think this was a volcano. It is a volcano. Exactly. It is a volcano. So how high up are we here? Four thousand, is it? Nearly four thousand meters, just over twelve thousand foot. 
and we were confused as to where the volcano was obviously we're, we're on it <laughs> so as with most places that we've found that we've come to visit the big landmarks obviously because of covid and everything it's mainly just locals around i can't really spot any other tourists we do stick out like a sore thumb <laughs> he's nuts Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get really high. <laughs> I can make it into the lagoon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna jump. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enjoy that. Yes. Clouds are rolling in. So eerie the way the clouds do this on top of the mountains. Can you see them just rolling in? That's going to be me on the way up. <laughs> Aaron's noticed at the bottom that it's kayaking or canoeing, but we're going past everyone on the way up here and everyone is blowing. It's pretty damn steep. <laughs> Look at that. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Someone's had enough. Well had enough. Huh? Well had enough. <sighs> We're about halfway down. Still got a while to go. <laughs> yeah, that looks like St. Oban's Bay. Where it looks like St. Oban's Bay? Yeah. Oh, cute. <laughs> We've got a long way to go. We've taken a little pit stop, got a coca tea. I'd say we are about halfway now, maybe further. No, more than halfway. More than halfway. So we've walked all the way from up there down, and on the way we passed loads of people that were just absolutely done, like blowing, couldn't walk anymore. And the same is going to happen to me, so we're going to find a donkey down there. And he's going to take us home. It's really weird, like. We're stood in the middle of a volcano. <laughs> <sighs> it's my donkey for the way home. Huh? My donkey for the way home. Hello. Okay, I'm not walking back up this. Not a chance. Where's my donkey? What was that? <laughs> what was that? That was a cannon. Oh, yeah, that was incredible. We had a kiss in the volcano, but I don't want to go back up. How are you feeling? I want my donkey. It's just all the way up there now. <laughs> it's still a long way to go, Lauren's hating it. We've done quite a bit though, but look at that for a view. Amazing. Where is she now? <laughs> She's still hating it. She's going to moan the whole way up. I'll let you know what she says. <laughs> Nothing. It does look really nice. It's stunning. The sun's come out for our exit. It's 
It's hard work, isn't it, babe? <laughs> Have a break. Oh, take, a, take a break. Oh, goodness, Alfie. Yeah. <laughs> it's not far. Look. <laughs> Halfway. Uh, not a bad view, but... We can just stay here. Till we get a tent. <laughs> <laughs> we can go camping. It knackers you out a bit. That is amazing. But this is the view. Not bad. I think everyone's just had enough, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to get dark before we get up. <laughs> so close, but so far. Look. Yet so far. It's getting closer, I can tell. <laughs> it's a good view. Yeah, I'm so tired. You're asthmatic, bring your inhaler. Quite treacherous. But the views are amazing. Treacherous, amazing. <laughs> Poo! <laughs> So I am an eight-year-old kid. <laughs> I'm going through this escape hole. Oh uh, yeah. Also. <sighs> also, it's a minefield of manure everywhere. Manure. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing checkpoints as it happens. No, no. I completed it, mate. All the <laughs> I highly recommend coming here, but make sure you've got a bottle of water. <laughs> and uh, what about the time we made? <laughs> the time yeah. we made. So it's supposed to be an hour and a half on the way back up, and we did it in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> this is the little town that's in the middle. So there's hostels here, there's bars, restaurants. Aaron's gonna go get his guinea pig now. <laughs> I don't know. They've got the teeth on them, I don't like it. <laughs> they? They look like bongos. Are they making bongos? I think so, yeah. Oh. I'd say so. Hey doggy. Here's some sheep. <laughs> so we're just leaving. The little Kitova village now, going to find a bus. Aaron wanted to get some street food, but all he could find was guinea pig and chicken feet, so he's drawn the line at chicken feet apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is a bit fuzzy. Um, my vlog camera died. We got to the entrance of uh, Kiotawa and realised the bus stops at half five. <laughs> so <laughs> we're stranded a good like two hours away from where we're supposed to be. We jumped in this nice boy's car and we're off to uh, Zambia, which is a little town, so we're hoping that there's a bus. So we made it onto the bus, thankfully that boy that picked us up drove so fast, it was faster than the bus on the <laughs> way up wasn't it, to get us to this final bus and um, yeah, hopefully we'll be home in a couple of hours. I've done it a little bit backwards, we're moving out now, but this was our Lovely little hostel, Rosita. The bed was really comfy. We're in a really good place here in Latacunga. We actually recommend coming to Latacunga more than we do Quito, to be honest. Uh, big thanks to Marco who put us up here. He's been awesome. I'm sad to be leaving, but we're going to Banos. Thanks for watching guys and please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one where we go to the adventure town of Banyos.